Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to be reading about the Frost Forest from the Back Rooms. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. This is a special theme too, which is really odd. Anyway, it's Steve, 456. It's the destination, the, uh, destination 456. Habitat, major already cold. The entrance to a frostport, a cave, and level 129. Oh, that's majority cold. Wow, I can't read it, apparently. Anyway, description. In the 456, also known as frostports, are small, pig-like creatures that inhabit levels that have low freezing climates. Frostports can travel at high speeds for long distances in pursuit of prey, and are extremely agile. Frost forests are best suited for extremely cold temperatures and, and inhabit cold levels such as, but not, not only, if pertaining to level 129. If removed from a cold climate, frost bears will likely perish, as their bodies cannot adapt to warm environments. Behaviors Frost forests are extremely aggressive and will attack any entity that ventures too close to it. Frost forests live in large groups of of about 10 to 20 members, known as squaws. They would do anything with their squall with the exception of hunting, which they do alone. This presumably to reduce noise and make stalking prey easier. Frost bears often pursue prey for or miles and can outlast most creatures while, while chasing them. However, they are not particularly buoyant and will not follow their target over water. Frost bears dwell in large caves with their squaw oh, Little is known about what goes on within the cave, and it has been deemed extremely dangerous to venture into this area. It is presumed that frost forest rays are young inside of these dwellings. Biology Frost forests are about 2 feet in height and resemble a wild boar. They have light blue skin and long white fur with extreme heat trapping properties. Two large tusks protrude from their are from on either side of a frost forest's mouth, which can easily slaughter prey. Frost forests have several unique anatomical fit, each of that sets them apart from entities in the back rooms, which are listed below. Fur. While frost forests are still widely avoided by most explorers in the back rooms, some explorers hunt these entities for their pelts. Their white fur traps body heat, making it an ideal for cold resistant clothing. This is extremely useful in many colder levels, and their fur has been used to insulate structures in various levels. Hooves. The large, flat-ended soles of a frostbite's feet allow the bear to stand on top of, of snow without sinking into it, giving it a significant advantage over its prey. If removed from the carcass, several of these hooves can be fashioned into a, a kind of snowshoe for use in colder levels. Tusks. Frost bears use sharp tusks to kill their prey. They have been observed sharpening these tusks on rock, rocks, and trees. If spotting these scratch marks, the frost bear might be nearby. The material of which these tusks are made out of is unknown, but it is very durable and comparable to resin. Eyes. Because of the cold and often windy climates that frost bears favor, they have a special membrane over their eyes that protects them from the wind. And functions similar to a second eyelid, and is used in windy and snowy conditions to protect the eyes of a frost spore from the wind. There, this membrane is what gives frost spores their distinctive red eyes. If the membrane becomes too clouded due to snow, frost bears will blink to clean them off. Discovery. The first squall of frost bears was discovered. Frost bears were as found by a lone an explorer who had entered level 129 while uh, communicating with another explorer via walkie-talkie. The two explorers were unaffiliated with any organization. Do's and don'ts. Do if attacked by a frost bear, get to higher ground. Frost bears are 
small and cannot climb. Getting to a large rock or into the branches of a tree will provide temporary protection from the hog. Try to learn a frost work to warmer territories. This will slow them down and dampen their abilities, making it easier to fight. Separate the squall. Frost boars are infinitely more dangerous when they are in a group. Traveling in a group with multiple explorers could spread the squall out over a large distance, making it easier to deal with. Don't engage in melee combat with a frost boar. Frost boars are much faster than the average human and have natural weapons, like their tests, that can easily kill an explorer. Enter the cave of a squall. No explorer has been known to exit these caves alive. Spend long periods of time away from a heat source. Frost boars will stick to the coldest parts of a level. If you do not sit near a warm area, a boar will likely find you while you are hunting. And that was Entity 456, the Frost Boars. They're basically snow piggies. If you like this, this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Who knows what's going to be happening tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!